We are following breaking news this evening. Two children are safe after being held hostage for hours this afternoon in Abbeville. Police say the suspect let the children both under the age of five out of the mobile home just before six o'clock. A short time later, the suspect was arrested. Now we talked to the suspect's uncle on scene. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer joins us live in Abbeville. Brooklyn, does the family have any idea what caused all this to happen? Well, his uncle tells us this all started whenever he and his girlfriend got into an argument about getting a puppy. Now we know that argument escalated into a standoff that lasted nearly four hours with more than 50 officers responding here from multiple agencies on scene here tonight. Now, officers were called to the home around 3.30 this afternoon. They were met with a woman who said her boyfriend, later identified as William Abercrombie, assaulted her and barricaded himself and two kids inside a home. Police say the kids are his sister's children. Anderson and Greenwood SWAT teams responded and a hostage negotiator was on scene for hours talking to Abercrombie. We're told he eventually let the kids go and they were taken to the hospital to get checked out. Police say they were unharmed and have since been released to their parents. SWAT teams eventually used tear gas to force Abercrombie out of the house. The situation ended peacefully just before 8 o'clock. We talked to Abercrombie's uncle after his arrest tonight. Understand, and I say, you know what I mean. Just, just blew out of proportion. You know what I mean. But I'm just so thankful that man, you know, God intervened in the situation for him to walk out without getting hurt. You know what I mean. So I'm just thankful. Abercrombie now faces the following charges, one count of criminal domestic violence, two counts of kidnapping, one count of possession of a weapon during a violent crime, and one count of resisting arrest. Abercrombie was taken to the hospital, but was released within the hour and taken to the, to the Abbeville County Detention Center, where he remains tonight. Now, we're still waiting on his mugshot. As soon as we have that, we'll bring that to you on air and online at foxcarolina.com. Live in Abbeville, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News Tonight.